here today with Bear Taffy, Northern Lion slash Isaac Baby, and Dan Giesling. We're going to be checking out Video Ball. And, well, not so much checking out as competing a little bit. Well, mm. All three of us, except for Dan, have gotten some experience in this now. And I think Bear has had the light uh, lit under him. He oh, said yeah. I woke a sleeping giant last night. <laughs> <laughs> I've already got four alliterative nicknames for us. All right. We got the Startup. We got the Standby. We got the Superstar. And we got the saboteur. What about the yeah. square bear? I'll let you decide who's who. But <laughs> the, if, if you haven't seen box? Dead by Daylight episodes recently, you probably have a pretty good idea of who the saboteur is. Mathis. Mathis. No. Oh. Dan, uh, Dan, open the box. There's a juicier oh, target in there. He's like, in there. <laughs> what, what did you say? We're illiterates? That's what you're telling us? I said alliterative. What does with that mean? A. For with us, the. Of or having to do with alliteration. Yes, of or having to do with alliteration. And what does that mean? Exactly. It means same, that. Same letter at the beginning. It means that we don't know how to read. <laughs> <laughs> I resent that. Ooh, get the North remembers. So I'm oh, not. Oh, there it is. I don't want to do a Robism, but I am playing with a Nintendo controller, right. literally. Yeah, and I'm really <laughs> happy about that. I'm glad it's working out. It is. I'm happy about it because it means you get to play with us. Yeah. You, you thought you had no way, and keyboard's not a good option for this game. There's always a way. This is kind of like a modern-day Blades of Steel. kind of feels like it, perhaps. I want to try to give people like a, a basic oh, breakdown. Nice. They probably already pieced it together themselves, but so we got two on two here. You get three different varieties of shots, and then you can charge all the way up to get that block out on the screen, which is creating a lot of problems already. <laughs> we found out there's a maximum of 20 blocks available before they stop spawning. I'm oh, telling you, block, block meta is still old school. I don't know why, Nick, you've, you've judged yourself into block territory here. We had a good thing going. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just <laughs> kind of playing around. I don't know why the blocks are so seductive. Anytime you play with somebody for like the first time, they're like, it's all about them blocks. Yeah, man. that's what it's, I feel like. It's like building. No, it's all about the double touchies. They give you so much more uh, agility. Oh, nice shot. What's a double touchy? Oh, here we go again. What do you mean again? Double touchy. It's a level two shot. But what, how did you come up with the name Double Touchy? I, I think it's a layup, man. I don't. They think it's say Double Touchies in the game sometimes, and when they say it, it doesn't mean the same thing that I have it mean. But from my personal standpoint, a Double Touchy is a level two shot because it can. It's a level Ooh. two, and oh. it hits things multiple times, aka the Double Touchy. I think what they mean by that is you do one shot to position the ball and a second shot to shoot it in, in the same breath basically oh my god no and that reads like a double touchy to me you Wait. know what you, history is written by the victors nick so i'll, I'll consent to that <laughs> all right this is a cool game i like everything about it including the ambiance i'm glad to hear that because i felt the same way <laughs> it's really cool it's really yeah. fun too it's, and everybody it's great, wins it's a great level of competition facts. versus accessibility and i appreciate that yeah, access your facts man Facts. What did I hit a button? Yeah, your total goals, touchdowns. There's your. Uh, is it going to show you double touchies here? I don't think it's going to show you double touchies. Nah. Yo, Video medium ladies. triangles are double touchies. But you tell me, what's a cooler name? Medium touchy or double? <laughs> or medium triangle or double touchy? I like medium touchy. Wait, wait, why? I like medium touchy triangle. I'll accept. Why did the team shuffle here? Me and Bear had to get. Uh, get they they shuffle. Here. They shuffle on the regular. I kind of wish we had control over that, like what teams we want necessarily. Yeah, what if we want to do best of three? If we could override it. Then you just play as many games as you need to <laughs> to get <laughs> to get the same permutations three times. Ron I believe that oh. and Bear have the chance to be the first team that can take down Ryan. <laughs> I mean, I, I have lost before to Cobalt and Yeah. I'm starting to kind of like maybe figure out how he does what he's doing, but it's, I also I, really... Everyone's acting like I'm holding the secret here. I literally tell I just spam the medium you shots like over and over. In a row. There's got to be something to that. That's yeah. a strategy, man. Don't it's don't a, sell yourself short. I'm not. I'm telling you the strategy to begin with, <laughs> and everyone's going. I think I've discovered the secret. Oh <laughs> no! I've been saving for a whole week is yes. uh, nonstop medium touchies. Ryan, this I is your, totally your kind of game. You, you take all the uh, geometric angles and you figure out the maximum velocity. <laughs> Dude, I'm lagging really bad. Oh, are you? Oh shit. Uh oh. Yeah, I, I couldn't play for a while there. 
Bear, what kind of internet you got? DSL? Tell me about your internet specs. What do you mean, what kind of internet? Do you have DSL? This is like what 1998. Kind of, what kind of connection you rocking? How about- My what? internet's solid, it just sometimes goes down a little bit. I got a question for you guys. How come some streamers, and I, if you guys do this, I apologize, like put their upload download speed as a permanent image underneath their channel. Like, what is, what is that? I have not seen that. That's a little surprising to me. Actually. Yeah, like, I don't know if is that like the new D measuring or what? Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure so. just like straight up. It's like, hey, look hey, how good that? I have this. You do get asked a lot, like, as a streamer, people will be like, hey, my connection is like 40 kilobytes up. Is that enough to stream? <laughs> well. Ooh, I got a, I got an achievement. Video ball times 100. Get in there. It's when, when they shoot, like, what's when up they shoot the big one, when they shoot the big one like that, if you hit it with any ball, it will send it back at like quintuple speed. Oh, really? Oh, nice shot. So bigger is not always necessarily better. No, it's actually much easier to punish. In fact, uh, I'm not sure if you've heard, but uh, the medium touchies, they've got quite the... <laughs> quite the selling point in my opinion. You're really Level 3 is best used to clear the ball when it's too far on your side. Oh, there it is! Go. Yeah. Hooray! Woo! To be fair, Ryan is playing with half a player right now. <laughs> now you got the NES controller, man. You've got an advantage over all of us. <laughs> we have to look at our controllers and figure out what buttons to push. Just let the fax screen tell the story. I do like that it says fax. I just w wish it was spelled F-A-X, though. Like the car fax. Yeah. yeah. I wish it was Carfax. <laughs> yeah, why can't we play as cars? Yo, Dan, though, you know I got that T1 hooked up straight into my fucking <laughs> eyeballs. <laughs> got that pipe. What does the T1 look like? Got that direct like? business line, man. Dan, what, is... what do you think about DX Racer chairs? What do I think about them? Yeah. I think they're marking genius, but I don't know. Yeah. Outside of that. <laughs> I mean, they are comfortable. What do you think about them? Oh, I was just curious because he, since you mentioned like people putting stuff oh. under their stream, like DX Racer chairs are kind of like that too. Well, but I get that because that's like they're like it's a product, but like say you can yeah. upload a hundred megabytes. What is that? Like yeah, I don't really know what that tells anyone about <laughs> it. Like all right, my stream doesn't look bad, so good job. Hey, uh, what streamers like specifically are you talking about <laughs> so we can make this the most uh, engaging video of all time? <laughs> We gotta, we gotta keep our sponsorship offers open, man. <laughs> I mean, I got a DX Racer chair. There's nothing, nothing wrong with it at all. Yeah, it's it not a birthday. sponsored one, though, is it? It was a birthday present for my wife. Uh, sorry if that offends your <laughs> sensibilities, Nick. <laughs> it's also been very good for my uh, my lumbar support. Previously, I was sitting on a wicker chair. <laughs> Were you really? Our storage unit. Still better yeah. than Rob. He had, like, a... a stool with one leg partially missing or something. See, that is, that's too far. I feel like there's yeah, two that's things, a little bit too hard. there's two things in life that you should splurge on. One is a chair that you're going to use for a mattress. eight hours a day, and then the other is a mattress. Yeah. Yeah. Like, anything else, like, you don't really need. Like, <laughs> the Rob, only two to... things in life. <laughs> go chair out and a mattress. And go find someone getting rid of their moldy uh, couch or chair and just take that. It'll be a big upgrade for you. <laughs> yeah. Wait, so who here is that's DX Racers? Ball. Ryan? Yeah. Do you guys bear Nick? Do you have one? Uh, no, I got a, I got a big old like executive comfy chair that I thought was gonna last me a while. It turns out like the the padding on the underneath the cushion here lasts about three months. Under the rump yeah. cushion. <laughs> yeah. And I have a really hot leather chair that is the worst idea for Wait. summer of all time. <laughs> leather? Leather. You know, fake leather. They should call it leather. Yeah, they should. Yeah, for fake that leather. Sounds like feathers. It's like faux leather, I guess. Well, what's what's the P? The, the I don't faux. Know. I, it might be like the a Viet, like thing. like Vietnamese noodle soup. Yeah, faux exactly. leather. <laughs> nice shot. Very creative, actually. That's not even. Se How do you pronounce that? I think it's it's fa, fa, isn't it? Fa, but like if you're an asshole about it, that says all you need to say. <laughs> <laughs> it's like. If you say Paris, everybody knows what you're talking about. They don't go yeah. in French, they say Paris. Yeah. yeah, so. Je Paris. I'm Jon Snow. Dan, you've been watching a lot of Game of Thrones lately? Yeah, actually, with I don't watch a ton of TV, but when I'm on uh, 
uh, baby duty, we watch a little Game of Thrones together, you know? Baby that's baby a duty. that's a great show for a, a <laughs> one time to be watching, I think. He's too young to know his Yeah, well, I guess, is it, with a baby, you can pretty much get away with anything for like at least a year, right? Yeah, it's pretty straightforward. But yeah, I built the wall here, that's the whole point of... Ryan? If, hey, man, I've never seen the show, so spoilers. That is an impressive defensive measure, Dan. We gotta do what we gotta have do. To take that out. I'm more of a defensive strat guy than an offensive strat guy. You know what? We'll we'll work just fine together then. I got the killer instinct. I'm man. I all right. I'm going on destructive duty here, Nick. You gotta ah. hold down the fort for a second. Why don't you just spam one shots all the time? What's wrong? No, with that? Dan. <laughs> I didn't realize I could do that. Oh, thank you for it's the a info. natural part of the evolution. Wow. Start talking one shots. But I'm telling you, dude, it's all double touchies as far as the eye can see. No, it's all the it's the one shots to clear out the obstructions. See, I never realized the the immediate benefit of the one shot for that. That's really nice. I'll tell you what's real good. Everything about this game, like ambiance wise and the HUD, I really appreciate it. You yeah, know, music's good. I like it. Uh huh. It's got There's a real good feel to it, man. Stinky ass jazz in there too, which I love. <laughs> Get in there! Nice shot. Hey Dan, how current are you in Game of Thrones? Uh, season five. Oh, we gonna spoil that, no, that no spoils, as well? No, no, I'm just gonna <laughs> say the newest season is great, that's all. My favorite thing about the newest season was when the characters had the interaction. You remember <laughs> oh, that? Oh, right, that one interaction and then the yeah. other one. And then the dialogue? Oh, God. Oh, and the violence. Man. I Talk will... about television. I will say I'm not a big blonde guy, but oh, here we go. but Cersei is like <laughs> quarter piece, like two and a half. She's twenty five <laughs> out of the ten. No, she's. I don't know what Cersei it is about and not her. Daenerys though. No, I'm a Cersei guy. I'm a Daenerys guy. Really, Bear? Where do you fall on the, me at all. the coin? Uh, I'm gonna. Mother. I'm gonna go Natalie Dormer on your asses. I'm gonna. I'm gonna say. Uh, well, I'm not gonna announce the character's name because that would be spoiler city. But... <sighs> we don't want to call anybody out. <laughs> Ryan, who do you like? You know, Ryan has to know what Cersei looks like. Yeah, it's Lena Headey. How do you know that? He just knows everything. It, I'm, you just know the character's name. It's not that even is... a human name, Cersei. <laughs> I'm all about crediting Ryan for his Wikipedia-like brain, but. I think we all know who Lana Headey is at this point. It's because it's stupid. Anytime you go on Twitter, it's like on a Sunday That's night, beautiful. there's just a thousand Game of Thrones tweets. <laughs> and you, you can talk about the episode, but if anybody says something that crosses a line that I find arbitrary as far as spoilers go, people <laughs> publicly shame them. And I'm like, man, everything's a spoiler. I haven't even seen season two yet. <laughs> It, what's the what's the camaraderie behind that, or the, or the expiration date? Like one season or one week? Well, I mean, in terms of like movie spoilers, I think you get like two years. Oh, get out of here with that! What are you talking about? You don't think you get two years? Oh, no. I think so that's like, reasonable. You, if I if I spoiled like Mad Max in this video or something, I would not care. I've never seen Mad Max. All right, but what if I? Spoiled Remember the Titans, would you be pissed? No. <laughs> what about Friday Night Lights? No, get out of here. The, the water boy? Get, why are you being that guy? You never answered. Do you like Cersei or do you like uh, that boy? I don't, I don't care, man. Yeah, you do. You have to make yeah, a decision. If I, if I had to choose, uh, sure, the dragon mother. Yeah. Yeah, Daenerys. Wow. Coach Carter was a defining film of our generation, though. <laughs> Absolutely true. See, what I like about her is she's got this quiet confidence, and then yeah. she, when she has it, like, when she needs it, it pays off in spades. Oh, yeah. Also, she can be lit on fire and turn into dragon. This is like if you wrote, like, her trading card description or something. <laughs> <laughs> this conversation makes me very uncomfortable. Well, I think Mick also likes her because she gets naked in the first 15 seconds of season no, one episode. No, it's not about nudity. <laughs> I think she's a great, like, personality. Oh, I think she's a great person. That's a perfect also counter really to that. Pretty. Oh, she's really pretty, too. I like Cersei because... I like Daenerys because... She... She seems like a good, really good person. Really swell gal. <laughs> a couple of swells. She's tough when she needs to be. She's She's got a sensitive side. She's well Would you rounded. say that she's strong enough for a man but made for a woman? She's grounded in reality and full of real world <laughs> problems. Real world problems. 
<laughs> Nick, did her getting Maris naked in the first it. minute of the se series do anything for you? Wait, say that again? Did her getting naked within the first, like, two minutes of the series premiere do anything for you? I mean, it didn't not do something for me, if that's what you mean. <laughs> I'm just thinking that, that's why you prefer her to Cersei. No, but Cersei was naked in, like, the first scene. Nick, exactly no, how much wasn't. of a okay. physical reaction did the bath scene in the first episode of Game of Thrones elicit from Yo, you? No, spoilers! <laughs> you don't get to see anything from Cersei in the first episode. You see all you need to see. Oh, I <laughs> yeah, I'm misremembering the order. <laughs> I think I, I think I might have switched up the, uh, the character representations there for a second. All right, fuck Mary Kill. <laughs> the actresses, not their characters, but the yeah. actresses from. Uh, I don't want to kill anybody. Charlie's, you have to. Charlie's Angels, 2001. Kill Cameron Diaz, thousand percent. Whoa. Dude, the confidence. That's why a though? Strong opinion. Somebody's got a beat. I think she's you one have of like IRL Hollywood beef with Cameron Diaz, Dan. She's one of the most overrated in the world. She oh. is like kind of a bad actress. I think, and I love like there's something about Mary is actually really good. The mask is wonderful, the but mask it's not is good. Cameron she's Diaz. great in the mask. Yeah. Well, she's not great in the mask. She's wonderful in the mask. She's she in the mask, perfectly. and the mask is great. But, you know, I... Like, Inquirer could pick up a story off of Dan talking in one of our YouTube videos. No. <laughs> <laughs> the South remembers. Do you think you got enough squares over there, though? It's just, uh... Yeah, that's kind of ridiculous, to be honest. Hey, the we all... Here's the problem with squares, and you'll understand this. Here's the problem with Cameron Diaz. The more squares you make the easier it is to kill like every square is way more time investment for you than it is to break it then yeah but bears over there doing ice climber work and instead of shooting the basketball i mean well, you got I, can't there. Shoot. I would like to be shooting basketballs as well but dan's spamming single touches into my own <laughs> face stop don't shoot don't shoot here's the oh, problem with oh, lannister she's she's <laughs> the problem She's a lannister. She, yeah, she's got some issues, man. She's got to work through those. She's a quarter. All day. What's I a quarter? Do I don't like this anymore because you, uh, you devalued the, the original valuation of diamonds. <laughs> <laughs> if somebody's a quarter. Hey, what'd you just do to Demi Moore? Oh, yeah. Hold on. Are you talking about like, dude, dime piece? That's already a scale of 1 to 10. Yeah. If you're going up to 25, that's that's a completely different spectrum. Or 100. Everybody Seriously just got keeps worse. 100. Except for Cersei. So Cersei can keep it 100, but she's only a quarter? No, she's really a 100. She's the 100 if emoji. Cersei Lannister is 25, then Daenerys Targaryen is two dragons, as Cameron Diaz is. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I'm gonna fail the SATs now, this is what it's like. Wait, so you guys... answer Apple, tomato, kumquat. Definitely you guys, kumquat. You guys didn't answer the uh, Charlie's Angels question. Because I... Well, you didn't answer it either. You just said who you would kill. Right. You actually yeah. did like the morally reprehensible part of the game, but you didn't. You got us off on a tangent of Cameron Diaz beef. Who would you marry, Dan? Who's the third one? I know Lucy Liu. Drew Barrymore. Ew. Ew. Whoa. I'd go marry Ew. Lucy Liu Hollywood and then. Hollywood actress Drew Barrymore. And then Bing Demi Moore. <laughs> oh, Demi Moore was in. Uh... Charlie's Angels 2, but I said Charlie's Angels 2001, so... Ooh, that's a that's a failing mark. Yeah, that's that's definitely a... That's definitely a, a fat F right there. We gotta win mm. this one. Or, you know, that's that's what I call it when I'm, I'm bending to me more, right? A fat <laughs> a F. fat F. <laughs> nice. Yeah, dude. The I F stands for P-H-A-T. -A -A what I call women. <laughs> Nice. Your fat A gives me a fat D. Nice. Wait, what I do mean, you guys? She is like 60 now. Who would you guys There's think? There's nothing wrong with that. I'm just. I'm I just would. I would that. marry Lucy Liu for sure. Like, I feel like that's just that's just good job security. <laughs> what? Why? For who? For her? <laughs> that's. I don't know. Something about that feels weird. Oh, I would me. definitely marry Lucy Liu so she doesn't end up being unemployed. Like, is that weird? 
Oh no, you know what? I did I did fuck up that sentence entirely now that I think about what I said. So I'm gonna I'm gonna redo it for a second. I'm gonna say oh. that creates some comfort for me, knowing that Lucy Lou will have permanent job security in my future. She's your job security. That's right. She's my security blanket. What are you trying to say about Lucy Liu as an actress? Everybody I'm trying to say that she is a very powerful actress who will have work for years to come. You know what? She is the most successful presently, I guess, because of her role on television's Sherlock Holmes-esque drama Elementary. That is right. <laughs> what network is that on, Ryan? <laughs> uh, Elementary, I'm going to guess, is on ABC. Which for you is like uh, UCW, Western Canada's <laughs> finest. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Nick, that's uh, that's video ball. Oh, we're done now? Okay, I, I thought so. maybe we were going to play more. But thanks, everybody, we're for watching. More. We are going to play more, and we're going to yeah. do it in other videos that aren't this one. So if you'd like to see more video ball, let us know in the comments. Leave a like and check out everybody else's perspectives. We'll have all of our links in the descriptions below. So thanks, everybody, for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Peace. Bye. See you, guys.